Hi guys, what is up? Welcome to my channel. It has been a hot minute since I've come in with a Sephora haul. So I'm going to show you the items that I picked out for the Sephora Summer Promo Event. So if you want all the details of that event and to see what ended up in my basket, then just keep watching. This video is sponsored by Sephora. This is the second time I am working with them for this kind of event. So I wanna say it. thank you to you guys for giving me this opportunity. It really is so surreal. You have no idea how incredibly grateful I am for the audience that I have. That does mean that the items in this haul were gifted to me, but I picked them out. I picked out items that I thought you guys would be interested in hearing about. So let's talk about the event. This one kind of crept up on us. So this is starting Friday, August 14th, and it's running until Sunday, August 23rd. The offer is you get $20 off of $100 or $15 off of $75 when you shop in store and online. Now there is no limit in stores to this event. However, you get one use online. It is also a Beauty Insider exclusive. So if you are not a Beauty Insider, it's completely free to join. And trust me, it's worth it with the point systems and everything you want to be a Beauty Insider. And my Canada gals, this offer is available in both the US and Canada, you were not forgotten. And all you have to do at checkout is use the code welcome back. All right, you guys, let's get into the goodies. I'm wearing just about everything on my face right now. So I do have a little bit of insight onto my first impressions of the products. So the first one that we have is from Urban Decay and this is the All Nighter Ultra Glow Face Primer. I cannot tell you the last time that I purchased something from Urban Decay, but something about this called my name. I am a pretty big fan of the All Nighter Spray and something about this interested me because it's the Ultra Glow Face Primer and it is a dewy foundation grip. So I do have drier skin, so I do prefer a little bit of a more dewy foundation primer. It's a squeezy tube and this actually comes out completely like a clear gel. Upon applying it, it reminds me a lot of the Milk Makeup Grip Primer in that it does have that grip and it's clear and it's gel. I wanna do a side-by-side -side comparison, but I think I prefer this a little bit more because it's a little bit less sticky and I feel like it feels a little bit more moisturizing. I've only had the primer on for maybe about an hour. I liked it. The milk one caused me to break out, so I hope that I don't break out with this guy, but so far, so good. If you like the milk, you might want to try this one out. This is very similar. I'm excited that I have a new Urban Decay product in my collection. I have been yearning for a new foundation. It's been a while since I've done a foundation wear test. I decided to go with the It Cosmetics Your Skin But Better Foundation and Skin Care. So this is supposed to improve your bare skin in two weeks. I love to hear that. It's water light, medium coverage with a natural radiant finish. I got the shade medium neutral, which I think is a very good shade for me. I love wearing It Cosmetics foundations. I think a lot of people are curious about them. So I think I'm gonna film a wear test review tomorrow of this. But upon first application, water light is how they describe it. And that's really true. It's a very liquidy, lightweight foundation. You don't get a ton of coverage from it. I would say light medium type of coverage. I don't notice it necessarily having a natural radiant finish. I actually thought it was a little bit mattifying. Not super matte, but it leaned more matte than it did dewy. Like I said, I've only had it on for an hour, but it, my skin looks very good. It looks very natural. And I think as the day goes on and the, my oils come through, my skin is going to look progressively better. I will definitely do a review for this if you guys are interested because this is their newest one and I just love it foundations. I love reviewing them. They're so interesting to me. So, so far, so good. I'm liking this. I would say this is good for people with oily skin who just want a lighter coverage, but I will have to update you on that. I also picked up a Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Finish Skin Perfecting Micro Powder. Now I have this already. I love it, but I wanted to pick it up in the lightest shade, which is number one fair. So I have a shade two medium and I like using that to touch up my face and to set my face, but I've never liked it on my under eyes and I heard it was wonderful for under eyes. It just kind of darkened the area and I did find that it did make my under eyes crease a little bit but I think with this new shade I'm going to like it a lot more. I did set my under eyes with it. It brightened it. The color was better and I'm not noticing any creasing with it so far. I love this because it's one of the most finely milled powders on the market. My absolute favorite powder to set with in the middle of the day. It's not going to cake up at all. It just sucks in all of your oils and pretends they were never there. So this is one of the most amazing setting powders 
if you ask me. These lights make my lips sweat, so I'm just gonna <laughs> put some on, but I love this powder. I mean, the fact that I got it in a different color should tell you that I love it a lot. I did get another setting powder, and this one, you guys, I could cry. I am so happy to have this. This is La Mer, the powder. So I have a super old extra expired powder that I keep in my collection and I only use on special occasions because she pricey. So I took the opportunity to refresh, get a non-expired one. <sighs> this is my favorite setting powder of all time, you guys. I don't talk about it because I don't use it because it's so pricey. But this is my special occasion powder. There's nothing that looks more seamless on the skin. I just find this to be the most perfecting loose setting powder ever. I use it sparingly and I still feel like my skin looks airbrushed. Now I do have the older one with the previous packaging. You actually get more product with that. And I did here the formula was changed a little bit when they released this packaging. So that I'm not sure about. I haven't opened or used this yet, but oh, uh, I hope she's just as great as the old one. This is so heavy, you guys. Like, I think half of the price is within this packaging. It is so luxe. I need to leave it out on my desk because it's just perfect. I'm so excited. This is the best powder ever, I swear. So the next item that I picked out was out of pure curiosity. I have heard so many people rave about Tower 28. I do think that I am going to pick up more items from this event and more items from Tower 28 because there's a lot more that I'm curious about. They're pretty fairly priced and I ended up picking up the Bronzino West Coast. It is a cream a bronzer and I'm a huge cream bronzer fan. And I love this clear acrylic packaging and I've always been attracted to that. So I love the packaging. So this looks a little bit odd in the packaging. It has a sheen to it that I thought might be unflattering on the skin, but once it's blended out, I just use a beauty blender. It's extremely natural and glowy. The gold shift that I kind of saw that turned me off, it actually looks much better on the skin and it applied very good as well. So, so far so good. I definitely need to continue using this. I did get another cheek product and you guys know I have been hounding to get more colors of the Patrick Ta Double Take Cream and Powder Blush. So I got one other color. I'm planning to place an order myself for the coral color, but I did get She's So LA and I was really scared with this one. I felt like it looked like it was a little bit brown and not good for my skin tone, but it looked so good on everybody else that I was like, I need to get this. And I'm so happy that I ended up with it. I just feel like it doesn't look like on the skin what it does in the pan. It actually has much more of a rosier turn kind of on the skin it's what I'm wearing now. So I like to start off with the cream first and then use the powder. Patrick Ta actually does it the opposite way, but I still find that the glowiness kind of shows through and I just love the cream by itself so much that sometimes I don't even bother with the powder, but the powder is also very nice, don't get me wrong. But if you're a neutral blush lover, this is incredible, especially if you love playing with different textures. This one I feel like was a little bit more glowy than the pink one that I got, but I love it. This is so good for the average person because it's so neutral and beautiful. I can't wait to get the next color. I just love the formula of this so much. I think he did a fantastic job. It's I'm so happy I could pick up another color. So let's move on to my favorite category, eyeshadow. So there aren't really any super big palettes out right now that are super interesting to me that I haven't already picked up. You know, I already picked up the Patrick Star and stuff like that. But there were two not necessarily super new eye products that I've been interested in and I had to get another Tom Ford quad as I continue to grow my collection. So I ended up getting Noir Fume. Boom. So sorry. <laughs> but this is so beautiful. I wanted to pick this up the last Sephora event, but by the time I got around to it, it like sold out really quickly. So this was one of the first things that I put in my basket. You guys know how I feel for every day about my cool tone neutrals. This is it, you guys. And it swatched so buttery smooth. I didn't use it today, but I can't wait to use it. And I know this is a quad that I feel comfortable reaching for on an everyday basis. This is my kind of everyday color story. Pop in a bronze shade and fantastic. But for me, this is going to be one of my new essential Tom Ford quads, assuming that I love it, which I'm pretty sure I will. So I had to get this one. Not a super new one, but it's one that I've been wanting for a while. I wanted to get Disco Dust as well, but this one just sold out so quickly last time that I had to get this one. Um, And then the next thing I got, it was something that I didn't know I wanted until I saw it online. And it's odd. It came in this plastic bag and then the palette came with this and I cannot, for the life of me, figure out what it is now. Granted, I did not do any research but I showed my mom she was like is that like maybe it's a bracelet and I mean I don't know how I feel about orgasm x being a bracelet I, I think it's supposed to fit around the palette because it 
I'll show you. Like, it makes it a little bit easier to grip because this is really slippery packaging. Anyways, that aside, this ended up being one of the items that I'm most excited for, and I never saw it coming. I haven't purchased from NARS in a really long time. I just felt like sometimes their stuff could get a little bit repetitive, but I saw this online, and for some reason, in that moment, I really wanted it. I thought it looked gorgeous, and I'd seen it before, but this was the first time it sparked interest in me. So this is the Orgasm X I it's in like a plastic component and these four shades in here are stunning you guys a mauve pinky lover's dream now did i need any more of these colors in my collection no but i wanted them i'm wearing this on my eyes right now and it is so stunning i love the shimmery shades that they have in here i love the tone of this quad don't sleep on it you guys as somebody who has a lot of nars in their collection i am very happy to have this i'm surprised at how much i'm loving this but i just think it is so beautiful so this is something that you might not know that you needed <laughs> the next item that i have is from milk and this is their new kush liquid liner i have been trying out a lot of different liquid liners lately. I just love testing them out to see what's the best of the best. And I really like this one. It is a felt tip applicator. I think a lot of you will like this one because I feel like you have a lot of control with it because some liquid liners, they just are so wet. It gets easy to get a little bit messy. This one is not that way. It applies color where you want it and only where you want it. And what's really great about it is it's not super shiny like a lot of liquid liners. You do get a little bit of a reflection, but it's one of the more matte ones that I own. So I really do like that. And I got a really nice, fat, precise wing with it today. So I have to obviously continue to test as far as wear time, but so far I'm really liking this. I'm quite impressed with it. Happy that I was able to pick this one up. Last two final products, they are lips. So this has been on my wish list for a while. This is from Fenty. This is their Slip Shine Sheer Shiny Lipstick, and I knew I wanted the shade Makeout Breakout. It's kind of a light taupey pink shade, and these are exactly what they are called, like lip shines. So you're not going to get a lot of pink from these which is why I only wanted one color but it's perfect to throw on on top of an, a lipstick or a lip liner because it's going to add some gloss and moisture to your lips but it has some pigmentation to it as well. I have another lipstick underneath that I will talk about in a second but I just love mixing a formula like this with another lipstick because it just makes your lips so juicy. This is kind of a nude pink color for me and I really really like it. I'm happy that I ended up with this color and I just wanted one of this formula in my collection because I hadn't tried this formula before and I really do like it. I think it's nice. The last item that I have for today's haul is actually a Gucci lipstick. I don't talk about their lipsticks enough on my channel, but they really do have one of the best formulas on the market. It's just, it's so luxe, including the price. But look at this gorgeous, intricate luxury packaging. Truly, one thing that Gucci has been doing amazing is their packaging. You can't deny it. You're paying for the packaging, which is incredible. But their lipstick formula is also incredible. So I've been wanting the shade Linda Beige. It's basically the lightest color that they have in their collection and a lot of you guys are going to think that this isn't flattering on you. I think this is actually quite a versatile color and it's going to look good on a lot of different skin tones. Now this is not a color that you can put all over your lips and one and done you're good to go. This is a color that needs to stay more so within the center of your lips. So I would start off with either a darker lip liner or even put down a whole lipstick all over your lips and you want to pop a color like this just in the center of the lips to add dimension to your lips to lighten everything up. It's a great mixing shade or if you want to use a dark lip liner and mix this in, so good. Once you master that technique down, you're always going to want like the whitest, brightest lipstick. This blends in with my skin tone. There's no way this could ever be flattering on me. So I use the buff lip liner from Pat McGrath on the outside of my lips, which is more pinky. It's not too deep. And then I focus this on the center of my lips and then use my fingers to blend it out. I did want the outer bits of my lips to have that pink from the lip liner and it was really beautiful. I think typically I would prefer to have more of the lip liner as a focal point but then to kind of even everything out and because I love mixing formulas I put the Fenty right on top 
And that's how I got this new pink lip. So these are all of the items that I've currently chosen for this summer event. I do plan on going back for more because I've been out of the loop with these new products lately. It's been like very individual releases coming out, so I haven't picked them up and I feel behind on the times. I need to educate myself on these newer products. So do expect probably a part two, I don't know. But anyways, thank you guys so much for your love and continued support. I really, truly appreciate it. If there's any items that you might be interested in me experimenting further with, doing reviews, make sure you comment them down below because that lets me know what you guys want to see. And again, thank you so much to Sephora for partnering with me on this video. If you aren't subscribed to my channel already, I would absolutely love it if you would consider taking the time to do so. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye guys, have a good one.